Welcome to The Pulse, brought to you by MDT-TV. Few animals can rival the amazing regeneration abilities of the flatworms known as planarians. When the worms' tails or heads are cut off, they grow new ones, and even a tiny piece of planarian tissue can regrow an entire animal. In recent years, dozens of genes involved in planarian regeneration have been identified. Many of these are related to human genes, and some are active in response to human injuries. Many of the genes on the human side have not been extensively studied. Learning more about them could help advance the field of regenerative medicine and one day even lead to the growth of human body parts. The Journal of Visualized Experiments has published a technique to accommodate two challenges inherent in brain implantation technology. Gauging the property changes that occur during implantation and measuring on a micro scale. These new techniques open the doors for solving a great challenge for bioengineers. That is, crafting a device that can withstand the physiological conditions in the brain for the long term. New implantation materials may help find solutions to restore motor function in individuals who have suffered from spinal cord injuries, stroke, or MS. Researchers at the Institute of Bioengineering and Nanotechnology have developed a simple method of organizing cells and their microenvironments in hydrogel fibers. This tissue engineering approach gives researchers great control and flexibility over the arrangement of individual cell types, making it possible to engineer prevascularized tissue constructs easily. Tissues designed with preformed vascular networks are known to promote rapid vascular integration with the host. This innovation brings scientists a step closer toward developing viable tissue or organ replacements. Researchers have created a tool to peek inside the brain and measure varying levels of consciousness. The team combined two well-known medical devices, a coil that delivers a pulse of magnetism that travels through the skull to stimulate the brain, and an EEG that records the patterns of activity as neurons fire in response. The technology offers the hope that one day doctors might track consciousness nearly as easily as they check blood pressure. For more medical technology news, go to mdtmag.com. And until next time, I'm Sean Fenske, and this has been The Pulse.